still draw ABC is it supports A and C as shown in find the stresses developed in the two portion of the rod when it is heated through the 15k take coefficient of thermal expansion that is alpha is equal to 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per k and e is equal to 200 dp so first of all write down the given data so a and c it is fixed in a b member it is length it is 500 mm cross-sectional area it is 400 mm square and this b member it is cross-sectional area it is 600 mm square and length it is 800 mm so write down a1 is equal to this 400 mm square 400 400 mm square that is l2 is equal l1 is equal to 500 mm 500 mm then a2 it is a2 is equal to a2 is equal to 600 mm square 600 mm square and l2 it will be 800 mm square, 800 mm so next it will be modulus of elasticity it is also given and temperature it is given t is equal to 15 k 15 k is right this is the temperature then coefficient of thermal expansion that is alpha is equal to it is given alpha is equal to 12 into 10 to minus 6. 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 per k per k this is coefficient of thermal expansion then next e it is given modulus of elasticity it is 400 gp 400 gp convert it is in newton per nm square that is means 200 into 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per nm square newton per nm square this is that it is given for calculating the stresses at eb and bc okay so load due to load due to load due to temperature 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 is acted is acted at a and c at a and c because a and c it is fixed so due to temperature it will be try to expand okay but at a and c it will be fixed that's why it is acted two forces here that it will be it will be equally acted at a and c and here this thermal load thermal load is equal is equally equally member a b and this so that is this means it is p1 is equal to p2 p1 is equal to p2 so p1 means that is sigma 1 a 1 p1 it is sigma 1 into a1 sigma 1 into a1 is equal to p2 it is sigma 2 into a2 p2 it is sigma 2 into a2 that is sigma means sigma is equal to p, p by a okay so sigma 2 into a2 sigma 2 into a2 so you will get one relation here sigma 1 is equal to sigma 1 is equal to a2 by a1 a2 by a1 a2 by a1 into sigma 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 so a2 it will be how much a2 it will be 600 and a1 it is 400 a1 it will be 400 4 and 4 sigma sigma you will get one relation from this sigma 1 is equal to sigma 1 is equal to sigma 1 is equal to 600 divided by 400 is equal to 600 divided by 400 it will be 1.5 1.5 sigma 1.5 sigma so this one is equation number one. So 
country to expand. Three, four. Total expansion. Total expansion of AB and B number of AB of AB and BC member of AB and BC member is 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 delta L is equal to delta L is equal to delta L one plus delta L 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 so delta L one is how much delta L one is L one alpha T for delta L one first of all calculate delta L one is equal to delta L one is equal to L one into alpha into coefficient of thermal expansion that will be same into T into T will be same for both the member. So, so L one it will be how much L one it will be five hundred. Find it into alpha is this twelve into ten raised to the power minus six into t to be fifteen. So it will be delta L one value. Find it into twelve into ten raised to the power minus six into fifteen. It will be zero point zero nine. Zero point zero nine m. Zero point zero nine m. So next delta L two is equal to delta L two is equal to. Delta L two, L two, L two into L two into alpha T, alpha into T, alpha into T, alpha. So it will be L two will be eight hundred, eight hundred into alpha T will be twelve into ten to the power minus six into T will be fifteen. So you get 800 into 10 into 800 and 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 15. So it will be 0.144, 0.144 mm, 0.144 mm. So total change in length now. Total expansion, total expansion is equal to delta L is equal to delta L is equal to 0.09. 0.14. It will be 0.234. 0.234 m. Okay. So, why not now? At A and C, at A and C, is fixed there. Fixed there. But due to temperature, but Due to temperature, but due to temperature, but it due to temperature, but due to temperature, member will be dry. Members will be try to expand, try to expand, expand. But at E and C will be fixed in, try to expand. Try to expand. So one, two, four. At E and C, at A and C, forces acted. Forces acted. Due to fix the end. Due to fix the end. Due to fix the end. Fix the end. <laughs> so contraction will be happen there. Contraction is. Point two three four m f. Point two three four m. Okay. So write down contraction due to point two three four. Point two three four is equal to is equal to is equal to is equal to one by one by one by e one by e 
one by e one by e in the head in the head in the head sigma one sigma one into l one sigma one into sigma one into l one plus 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 sigma two into l two sigma two into l two sigma two into l two so quotient of modulus of elasticity will be same Okay, so that's why I'll take a common from this. Okay. So for this value here, we can get one relation from this. Sigma 1 is equal to so 0 0.234. 0 0.234 is equal to modulus of elasticity is known value 1 by 1 by e to e to 200 into 10 to the power 3. 200 into 10 to the power 3. In that case, in that case, sigma one into L one it is five hundred. L one it is five hundred and plus sigma two. Sigma two into L two will be eight hundred. L two will be eight hundred. L two will be eight hundred. In that case, that case close. Take this left side 200 into 10 to the power 3, 0. 0.234 into 200 into 10 to the power 3. So this is 46.8, 46.8 into 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 3 is equal to 500. Into sigma one, sigma one, sigma one plus 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 eight hundred into sigma eight hundred into sigma two eight hundred into sigma two. So we know that sigma one is equal to so from this equation. So write down this one, equation number two. So from the equation of one, we know that sigma one is equal to Sigma one is equal to one point five is sigma two. So put this value in equation two. Sigma one is equal to one point five sigma two. Sigma two. Put this value here. Forty-six point eight. Forty-six point eight into ten to the power three is equal to. So sigma one is equal to one point five. Sigma to one point five into five hundred. So it is seven fifty. Seven fifty sigma two. Seven fifty sigma two. Then plus. Then plus. Then plus. Then plus. Then plus. Eight hundred sigma. Eight hundred sigma. Sigma. So if you get from this relation, sigma two is equal to. Sigma two is equal to. Right, and sigma two is equal to. Forty six point eight into ten to the power three divided by seven fifty plus eight hundred. So it will be thirty point thirty point one nine three mp. So now sigma one is equal to sigma one is equal to right sigma one is equal to one point we know that sigma one is equal to one point five sigma so sigma one is equal to one point five one point five into sigma two thirty point one nine thirty point thirty point one nine three so sigma one is equal to so this one is stressed development a b and b c a b member it will be 45.230 mp and b c member it will be 30.193 mp okay due to 
temperature variation and at a and c will be fixed 